Okay. This is a. Uh, Benwake, I think they call it. TF Mini. LiDAR head. It's about 50 bucks through SparkFun or something like that. Underneath of this little piece of plastic I made. Stepper motor and a driver. Coming off of a little breaker, breakout board with a, uh, what do they call that, a pie hat or a pie slice. Connected to a Wi-Pi Zero. So, or a Pi Zero wireless, whatever they call them. And I'm Chromecasting it right now up to the television. Where green is the old pass of data and blue is the new pass. So as I walk in front of it here, we'll see when it comes around, it'll be blocked out and being really close. See, there I am, blocking almost all the field of view down close. <clears throat> this is uh, the range rings are up there in meters, so the center is one, you know, zero, and then one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter. Um, the dots are sized to the distance away so that they stay uh, basically touching each other as it goes across. You can see that? So stuff in close, they fill in really nicely, but things that are far away get some stuff put in. There's some offset between the two, uh, between the old data and the new data, and it's basically not old data and new data, but it's scan direction is what I figured out and it is um, slop in the Kinsey uh, motor. It's written in C, uh, just GNU C on uh, using the Linux Raspbian. I've set up a RAM drive, so all of the writes are directly to RAM the, uh, to speed things up. Uh, one of the tricks I had to figure out was uh, if I was just writing the index, index.html, I'd get a collision every now and then when it was writing the file and the Apache was trying to read it. So uh, I'm using the system rename command, which is an atomic command, and does it all in one little bit so that there's no file collisions. The, let's see, what else? I've written it as four separate uh, processes. I did not uh, do a multi-threaded, a single multi-threaded process. I wrote four different processes. One uh, constantly grabs data from the sensor and writes it, uh, writes it to some data structures. When it gets a, uh, a semaphore, at, there's shared memory going on between the four, so. Uh, the drive is constantly telling everything, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. It doesn't move until the sensor hardware comes back and says, oh, you're allowed to move now, I got a good reading. So there's a lot of little things going on with these four processes talking together. But one does all the computations in a separate process, and then one does the creation of the HTML file in its own process. Like I said, I've got Apache running on it and the Apache directory is on the RAM disk also, so all of the reads and writes are for all intents and purposes uh, instantaneous. That's it.